humanism is Diplo's holistic approach to artificial intelligence, implemented via research, training, events, software and arts. Chat GPT and other generative uh, artificial intelligence tools are rising in popularity. If you have ever used these tools, you might have realized that you are revealing your thoughts and possible emotions through your questions and interaction with these AI platforms. You can therefore imagine the huge amount of data these AI platforms are gathering and the patterns that they are able to extract from the way we think. The impact of this business practice is crystal clear. A new AI economy is emerging through collecting, codifying and monetizing the patterns der derived from our thoughts and feelings. Intrusions into our intimacy and cognition will be much greater than with existing social media and tech platforms. We therefore risk becoming victims of knowledge slavery, where corporate and or government AI monopolies control our access to our knowledge. Let us not permit this. We have owned our thinking pat patterns since time immemorial. We should also own those derived automatically via artificial intelligence. And we can do it. One way to ensure that we remain uh, in control is to develop bottom-up AI, which is technically possible and ethically desirable. Bottom-up AI could emerge through open source approach with high focus on high quality of data. Bottom-up AI challenges the dominant view that the po powerful AI platforms can be developed only by using big data, as it is the case with ChatGPT, BART and other large language models. According to a leaked document from Google titled We have no moat and neither does OpenAI, open source AI could outcompete giant models such as ChatGPT. As a matter of fact, it is already happening. Open source platforms such as Vicuna, Alpacha and uh, Lama are getting closer in quality to ChatGPT and BART, the leading AI platforms. Open source solutions are also more cost effective. According to Google's leak document, they can be implemented on unthinkable laptop with investment of just US 100 US dollars, which is really a fraction comparing to multi-million investment currently. Open source solutions are also more faster, modular and greener as they require less energy for data processing. The fuel for bottom-up AI is a high quality data. Currently, the Algorithms are fine-tuned mainly manually through data labeling performed typically in low-cost English-speaking countries such as India, Kenya. For example, ChatGPT datasets are annotated in Kenya. This practice is not sustainable as it raises many questions related to labor law and data protection. It also cannot provide in-depth expertise, which is critical for the development of new AI systems. At Diplo, the organization I lead, we have been successfully experimenting with an approach that integrates data labeling into our daily operations, from research to training and management. Analogous to yellow markers and post-it, we annotate text digitally, as we run courses, conduct research or develop projects. Through interactions around text, we gradually build bottom-up AI. The main barrier in this bottom-up process is not technology, but cognitive habits that often favor control over knowledge and information sh uh, sharing. Based on our experience at Diplo, by sharing thoughts and opinions on the same text and issues, we gradually increase cognitive proximity, not only among our colleagues, but also between us, humans, and machines. This way, while building bottom-up AI, we have also nurtured a new type of organization, which is not only accommodating the use of AI, but also changing the way we work together. ChatGPT triggered major governance fears, including a call by Elon Musk and Yuval Harari and thousands of leading scientists 
to pause AI development on account of big uh, models triggering major risk for society, including high concentration of market uh, cognitive and societal power. Most of these fears and concerns could be addressed by bottom-up AI, which returns artificial intelligence to citizens and communities. By fostering bottom-up AI, many governance problems triggered by ChatGPT could be resolved through the mere prevention of data and knowledge monopolies. We'll be developing our AI based on our data, which will ensure privacy and data protection. As we have control over our AI system, we will also have control over our intellectual property. In a bottom-up manner, we can decide when to contribute our AI patterns to wider organizations from communities to countries and the whole of humanity. Thus, many AI-related fears, including those related uh, in relation to very survival of humanity, will become less prominent once we have ownership of AI and knowledge patterns. Bottom-up artificial intelligence will be essential for developing innovative, inclusive and democratic society. It can mitigate the risk of power centralization, which is inherent to the uh, generative AI. Currently, legal policy and ma market mechanisms cannot deal with the risk of knowledge mono monopolies of generative AI. Thus, bottom-up AI is a practical way to foster a new social operating system built around centrality of human beings, their dignity, free wills, and the realization of creative uh, potential, as we have been doing for the last five years with the Humanism Project at uh, Diplo Foundation. Technological solutions for bottom-up uh, AI are feasible today. We will use them as an alternative to top-down AI. For the time being, it remains anyone guess if it will succeed. Some individuals and communities may have more incentives and abilities to experiment with bottom-up uh, uh, bottom AI than others. Some may continue to rely on top-down AI out of sheer inertia. And the two approaches may even coexist. But we owe it to ourselves and to humanity to question what is being served to us and to both explore and encourage alternatives and ultimately to make informed decisions.